It is eight o'clock next morning and the weather is perfect. High above, we can see the Sphinx Observatory, beneath which is the highest railway station in Europe. Most of the journey on the Jungfraubahn will be through a tunnel inside the Eiger and the Munch, arriving at the base of the Jungfrau. Looking back, we can see Muren far below. The Jungfrau railway was opened in 1912 and is 9.3 kilometers long, consisting mostly of tunnels. It overcomes gradients of up to 25% to reach the Jungfrau York station at 3,454 meters. This is the Eiger Glacier. When the Jungfrau railway was being planned, Steam operation was considered to be impossible within the tunnel. Although electrically operated trains were still in their infancy, this method was chosen. Electricity meant increased comfort without smoke for the visitor. Construction took 16 years and cost 15 million Swiss francs. Today's rail cars are mini power stations in themselves. The downhill train's braking energy is converted into electricity and fed back down the rails. In this way, three descending trains are sufficient to power a fourth train up to the top. So after a 50 minute train ride, we're now up to the top of Europe, the Jungfrau Joch, and the eternal snow. Above is the Sphinx Observatory and Observation Terrace. Below is the five-storey Jungfraujoch complex. A little bit slippery and going very carefully. Isn't this fantastic? Absolutely incredible. <laughs> 